The show keeps getting better and better. Are you free for breakfast tomorrow? Who's got your back? Huh? Me. That's who. I'll keep that in mind. So, what's our next move? I'm not unsympathetic to your sense of justice. Better Call Saul season three. All right, so Better Call Saul is the third season of the very successful show, Better Call Saul, which is a spinoff of one of the greatest TV shows of all time, Breaking Bad. And this season of Better Call Saul is very interesting season. This season of Better Call Saul is you introduce, you introduce characters, I say introduce, but we really, I guess we, what you would say is you reintroduce characters of Gus Frain, who was in Breaking Bad, who is one of the main, I guess, antagonists of Walter White in Breaking Bad. The main storyline of Jimmy this season mainly falls around him and his brother once again. Basically, at the end of season two, Chuck had a tape recorder of all that Jimmy had did for Kim. And really, it's a battle between brothers at that moment. They're just like, they're trying to... They're facing each other off and every day. And, you know, Chuck is a character who I absolutely hate. Mainly, the, the main reason why is he's, he reminds me of what a Skyler's character in Break It Bad. Skyler knew there was something up with Walter. But we didn't care as an audience because we're like, you're trying to get in the way of Heisenberg. You gotta go. And that's kind of how I feel about Chuck. Chuck is so obnoxious. He uses the law for his own cocky goodness and you're just like ugh. I mean the performance there is so good. And this season we also get the introduction of Saul Goodman. This is the first actually inclusion of him saying he basically just explains it like he has to sell all these commercials and he sells it as his company as Saul Goodman Enterprises. And he's like Saul Goodman yeah. He's like it's all good man. So it'll be interesting to actually see the transition transition to him becoming Saul. I mean, we're seeing early, we're seeing signs of it and everything. The other base storyline going on, because I, I said in my last review of Better Call Saul, Better Call Saul is not just about Saul Goodman. It's also about Mike. Mike's is, Mike's like this bodyguard who worked for Gus Hall in, season, in uh, Break It Bad. In uh, this season, he was trying to, in last season, Mike was trying to kill Hector Salamanda. And there was a note on his car that just says, don't do it. And basically, it was Gus who left that note. And it, it began this relationship with Mike and Gus as they try to work together. You also introduce the female character who's in season five of Break, Break It Bad. You see her and Gus are checking out the laundry bag. Just so many great Break It Bad Easter eggs. And you know... The problem with movies, like with prequels and other kinds of prequels, is they kind of try to force it down your throat. But this one feels so natural that I'm really okay with it. Very great season finale. I don't want to get into it because I don't want to talk about spoilers. I will talk about spoilers on the Darth Easy show this week. So make sure you check that out. But overall, guys, Better Call Saul season in. season three was so good. One of the best seasons of TV I've seen in a while. And man, it's such a good time for TV watching. I'm gonna give Better Call Saul. Wait, just start, what? Wait, what? It's what time is it? Wow, that was so good. So guys, have you seen Better Call Saul? Where are you up? Comment below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe, see more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. Better Call Easy. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot.